Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video with me. My name is Shema and I am a Pilates instructor, fitness trainer. I'm a postpartum and prenatal specialist and um, here I am. Today we're going to do a flow for back pain and focusing on that posterior chain. Um, so come along with me. I apologize for the gloom, but it is my favorite time of the year, so yay. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Grab your mat. Um, you could be doing this without a mat as well. Grab your water, grab a towel if you want, and let's go. All right, guys, as always, we're going to start standing in a standing position. So come up. Working on that correct form and alignment, you're gonna bring your feet underneath your hips. You're going to make sure that they are aligned. Shoulders away from the ears here. You are going to inhale and exhale. We're gonna drop the chin to the chest. We're going to start with warming up that spine and with rounding in that lower back. So what I want you to focus on here is if you have a lot of lower back pain, to focus a lot of our rounding in your lower back, that rounding, so your upper back will round, it'll come along, your shoulders love rounding, we're always in that situation. Exhale, chin to chest, but I want our focus, our intention to be in that lower back rounding, and our, our extension, our stretch to be in that upper back shoulder area section, pushing the chest out, right? So that's for the rest of the class. For now, let's roll up and down, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, chin to chest, pull the tummy in, pull the ribs in, you're rounding. I want you to think of that pelvic tuck. Reach your arms down in towards the feet. Inhale here at your max. Exhale, you're gonna draw the belly button into the spine. We're gonna round it back up into a standing position. Shoulders go back and down, breathe, inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. I think this is three. Reach down, we'll do two more. Get into that lower back. I want you to imagine that you're pressing your belly, you're pulling the belly button up through that lower back. So feel that pull and then drag it up. So I want you to feel the lower back a little bit more and reach up. Now you have the fifth one. Either go ahead and do it in the air or find a wall. So I'm gonna to come to the wall. It's gonna give you a little bit more movement. Feet are a step or two in front of the wall. You want your hips to the head on the wall. Drop your chin to your chest, so I'm peeling the head first. This is gonna give you a better indication of how the rounding should feel to some extent. Arms are heavy, shoulders heavy. Round and peel the shoulders. And as I'm rounding and peeling, I'm, you're feeling that back kind of roll against the wall. Mid back peels, lower back peels. Reach it down all the way. I do apologize if you hear any background noises. There's a lot happening in the house. There's a lot of animals. Inhale here. Exhale. Press your hips into the wall as you're pulling yourself up. So I'm creating tension and resistance for myself. And then I'm trying, I'm aiming to bring the lower back first, right? So that's going to really curve you up here. And then the mid back and then the upper back and then the shoulders and head. Good. Come down to the floor. Let's come down to our hands and our knees. We'll start here for today. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You're gonna reach right arm and left leg. Let's hold here, working on that core. A lot of our issue with our back, our back pain and aches or injuries, potential injuries, have to do a lot with our inability to engage properly or the weakness in our abs. So the core needs to be strong together. And a lot of people think, let's bring it down, other side, left arm, right leg. A lot of people think core means abs, and it's not. Core is your abs, it is your spine, it is all the muscles surrounding both those areas, and it is your pelvic floor, and it's your diaphragm. So it's a whole bunch of things working together. We tend to think in isolation, like one thing is working on its own, without affecting any other area, which is quite impossible, and bring it down. And again, we're gonna reach up, pull the tummy in. So here, what I'm focusing on today is the connection and the distance between the rib cage and the hip bone, making sure it remains close 
while lifting arm and leg. And hold here, keep breathing. Keep that connection between rib and hip. And another three, two, one. Bring it down. All right. Relax your head and neck if you're feeling it. Left arm, right leg again. Holding here, keeping that connection between rib and hip. If you can take a video of yourself or do this in front of a mirror, it will help to see if you're shifting in your spine at all. So you do want to keep everything stable and breathe and then bring it down. Good. We're going to do the first side again, right arm, left leg. We're going to bring movement to this. So keep that connection between rib and hip. Keep the arms straight, legs straight, toes and fingers come to touch the floor. Only thing moving is the arm and the leg. We're nice and stable, controlled, slow movements, making it mindful. Exhale to lift. Inhale as you touch down. Three. And lift. Only as high as you can control the rest of the body. Actually, that's wrong way to say it. I don't want you to go higher than your shoulder and your hip, just as high. But if you can't reach the shoulder and the hip, here we go, four, then only as high as you can handle. Three, keep looking at the floor. I don't want you to strain and look forward. Two, and a one. Good, bring everything down. Adjust, move, shake around, do what you need. We're gonna bring left arm, right leg. You're holding first. You're stabilizing, finding your control, and then reaching down, arm is straight, leg is straight. You're using that glute to squeeze the leg up, two. Inhale, down. Three, you're pressing the floor away with that arm. That's on the floor, four. Abs are engaged, so I'm constantly reminding myself to keep the engagement in my abs. Five more. Five. Tap down. Four. Down. Three. Two. One. Good. Bring it down. Come into your resting position. Feet are together. Knees are a little apart or a lot more apart. Bringing the head down to the floor. I want you to relax here, releasing the lower back. Trying to reach your hips to your heels. Give yourself five full breaths. One more breath. All right, coming back up onto your hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, roll the shoulders back here. So we're gonna roll a little bit, making circles with the shoulders. So you'll roll the shoulders back and down, push the floor away here. Again, you're pulling the shoulders up to the ears. And then you're lifting the shoulders up towards the ceiling. And then you're pulling the shoulders away from the ears. And then you're pushing the floor away here. And let's do that again. So, shoulders come to the ears, up to the ceiling, back, and all the way down. One more before we reverse it. Get that full range. You don't need to confuse yourself with everything I'm saying. Reverse it. So shoulders go up and then towards the ears and then down, pushing the floor away. Shoulders go back, up, forward and down. Just get maximum circles, doesn't matter what's happening. All right, come back to your quad position. Right hand goes behind the head here. Make sure your left hand is nice and stable. I'm gonna pull the tummy in and I'm going to start to twist, bringing that right elbow in towards the left side. So I'm not imagining coming down to the floor yet. I'm just twisting to the left, looking at the left. So my face is coming too. So right now I can see the left side 
and then you're going to push your head into your hands all right you want to create that work for your neck and push yourself back to that quad and let's do that four more times you're going to twist i'm not aiming to bring my self down i'm coming to the left and open up push your hand into your head head into your hand create length in the neck three twist hold open up and four open up one more get that breath in inhale at the pause and exhale I'm gonna lift higher in the elbow here push your left hand into the floor open to the right side and then release all right you should feeling that you should be feeling that tension right hand down left hand behind the head create that length in the neck pressing head into hand and then we're going to twist left elbow to the right side keeping that right arm straight and stable looking at the right side here getting that twist inhale exhale control inhale only back to parallel so parallel to the floor too and three four five we're gonna go all the way up and out so elbow goes up 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 opening that left shoulder and part of the chest and then release it down good cross your legs behind you come seated push yourself to your seated position come all the way towards the end of the mat let's get into those lower back rounding and pelvic tucks i want you to really focus on the pelvic tuck so starting here arms are forward in front of you palms face each other bend the knees you want to align your feet with the knees knees with the hips keep them um, in that stable position now I don't want to, like I said, I'm not focusing on the rounding in the shoulder area. We're focusing lower. So you're going to feel the tailbone as if there is a string pulling your tailbone forward. All right, that's rolling your hips, rolling your pelvis, and then come up. That's it. I just want you to think of the tailbone. So there is a string attached to your tailbone, and you're pulling it forward and then back. Try to keep the upper back as stable, as flat as possible, and pull the string. Try to keep stable with the knees. Pull the string. And back. And back. And back. And pull the string. All right, we're gonna round a little bit more. Again, lower back focused. Upper back is, wanna, is going to want to come along, so don't want you to focus too much and oh my god, my, I'm rounding everywhere and like, don't want you to panic. It will come along, but I'm not focusing there. My focus is down below. You want to pull your belly button. So now there's a string attached to your belly button coming through your spine towards the back. And you're pulling the string, pulling the belly button in, into your spine. And then back. All right, so remember, tailbone, pulls forward, belly button pulls back. Everything else can come, you're holding. One, two, three, four, five, and release, come tall. So fully coming into your flat, neutral spine. Again, tailbone, belly button. Shoulders are away from the ears here. Hold one, two, three, four, five and come back to your neutral again pull the strings breathing through one two three four five and come to your neutral let's do three more and hold one two three four five and come to your neutral and tuck and round two and neutral, last one. All 
All right, come to neutral. Bring the feet together, open the knees. You're gonna fold over. I'm gonna pull on my feet. You're gonna bring the feet as close as you can to the body, if you can bring them close. All right, so you got steps, you got your legs close, great. If you can't, that's your aim. You're trying to get the feet close. And then once you've got them close, you're trying to get the feet closer to your body. And each time, each few sessions, you'll feel like you're progressing here. I wanna pull onto my feet or legs, and I'm gonna just gently pull myself towards the floor if I have the ability to go lower. Now what I do wanna, think of here is that I'm not rounding which might automatically happen I am trying to come flat and to accommodate that I'm thinking shoulders back so pulling the shoulders backwards rather than forwards towards the floor just hold here release the legs all right a little bit of a release happening and then up we go, good. You're gonna come back up, cross the feet forward. Let's do some glute work. If you have a loop band, go ahead and use it. Elbows underneath your shoulders. I'm just assuming we don't have any equipment at this point. But if you do, you're gonna put it around your thighs, creating more tension for yourself. Knees are under the hips. So if you're feeling like you feel the need to dip down towards the floor, your knees might be too close in if you can't see yourself. So push the legs a little bit further back. All right, trying to flatten out the back. Abs are pulling in. Again, remember that distance between rib and hip. I'm gonna keep the right leg bent. Push the floor away. Arms are strong, so we're not dipped here. Right leg is bent, but we're lifting it up, keeping that bent position. So reach as high as you can without manipulating your spine. Squeezing the glute at the top. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Foot being pointed or flexed is not important right now. Do whatever you want. Push the floor away again. Now we're going to do the left side. And keep that leg in that bent position as much as possible. It might change a tiny bit because you can't see yourself here. That's okay. I just want to feel the glute activate. Three, four. Like I said, the band will be a little bit more intense. Push the floor away with the shoulders. Three, two, one. Bring it down. All right, we're going to do reps. So right side, same thing. Squeeze the glute. Tap it down. This time I'm reaching the foot a little bit higher towards the ceiling. So squeeze just a little bit higher. And three, because we are doing reps while still main, main, trying to maintain stability in the rest of the body. And if you feel like you need to adjust once in a while, go ahead. Five and down. So once you reach up, you want to hold, pause for a second, make sure you've activated the glute. Three and then bring it back down. Two and one. Good. Straighten the leg. Same side. Point the toes this time. Again, squeeze. So as you squeeze that leg up and squeeze and activate that glute, I am also fighting it with my abs. So I am contracting in the abs, holding myself still as that leg goes as high as it can. All right, so you want that, those two movements in the body happening. Five. Exhale it up. You will feel a lot of things. Seven. I feel like I skipped a number. Eight. Abs in. Nine. Ten. Bring it down. Ooh. Adjust. All right. So if you want, come to your resting position. Stretch it out. Forehead down. Hips to heels. Breathe. We're going to come back for that left side. So first, the bent leg position. Make sure your back is flat. And that leg goes up for our taps. Again, you're reaching a little higher to squeeze the glute and activate while maintaining rib and hip connection too. Control. And you're pausing at the top for a second. Three. Four. Push the floor away with the arms. Five, six, look down at the floor, seven, I say after I look forward, eight, 
nine. You will feel your arms a lot. And shoulders, 10. All right, come down straight in the leg, point the toes and squeeze one. Tap, maintain stability, two. Remember the ab connection. Rib and hip, three. Four. Five. Six. All I see now is cat hair, even though cats are not allowed in this room. How does it seep into every hole? And nine. And ten. Pull it in. Stretch it out. Resting position. Head goes down. Breathe. All right, we're going to come down to the mat. So enjoy your little resting position and then come down. I just need to fix all of this that's on me. Okay. All right. So first bring your arms underneath your hand or chin or face. You can situate yourself however you want. All right, and then we're going to engage our abs, pull the belly button away from the floor. A little pelvic tuck appears here. I'm going to squeeze the glutes together. So I want you to go step by step here. I'm, I'm naming them, listing them step by step. So go ahead and do it step by step. I'm squeezing, engaging my glutes here big time, and my abs are pulling away from the floor. Then I'm going to lift the legs up, point the toes. So I'm not bending the knees to lift the legs up. That's not working posterior chain. I want to work posterior chain, which is the back of the body. You're going to engage, squeeze the glutes, pelvic tuck, lift the legs straight, trying to get those knees off the floor as you do. See how high you can go. We're going to hold one, two, use the abs so we don't feel the lower back here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, slowly control the weight down, good, <clears throat> inhale, and again, same thing, abs, glutes, legs lift, we're going to squeeze the heels together, and release one, squeeze, two, keep the legs up, three, you can keep your forehead down if you want, four, five, six, Squeeze. Make sure they touch. And if you can squeeze them as they touch, go ahead. Nine. Ten. Hold the squeeze. One, two, three. Pull the tummy in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the leg. Good. Breathe here. And then you're gonna pull your arms by your sides, forehead is down. Let's come to our back stretch, shoulders away from the ears, pull the tummy in, reach the legs together. Lifting up as high as you can, keeping the elbows down, looking down at the mat. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, release it down. All right, one more. Lifting up, look down. One, push the floor here, get height, get activation. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, release. All right, we're gonna flip to our back. All right. Arms down, heads down, back down. Come to your neutral spine. Breathe here. First, you're gonna come into your dead bugs. Knees are over the hips. Feet are aligned with those legs, with those knees, palms face each other. Inhale, you're gonna reach down. Press your back down, only as far as you can handle. Exhale, dead bugs. Inhale, same side. If you wanna upgrade this, you're gonna come up off the floor with the head. Reach only as far as you can. If you wanna upgrade this, you can straighten the leg and pull it back and five six press the back down seven eight 
nine, ten. Other side. Left arm, right leg, one. Again, you can start head down. It's just quite hard. Three, or you're going to lift up. Four. Or straighten the leg. Three more. Nine. Ten. Hug the knees in. Move your head side to side. Breathe it out. Bring your feet close to the body. Arms are down. Open the legs as wide as your hip bones. So natural distance from each other. Start from your neutral spine. Shake it around. Move it around. Come to your neutral. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to come into our pelvic tuck. Remember that string, this time it's on that pubic bone. Lifting up the pubic bone. Glute squeeze, rolling up, one vertebrae at a time. Reach, glutes go all the way up. Inhale, exhale, rounding through the upper back, mid back, lower back, and release. I can't have a video <laughs> with no interruptions. Inhale, exhale tuck and this is why I usually don't but I just told myself you know what do the video you're human everybody gets interruptions it's okay squeeze glutes I can't be a perfectionist it will eat me alive round it back down I don't know how people do it and reach oh hashtag self-love all right tuck the pelvis press the back down first Peeling up the lower back, peeling up the mid back. It's always in this exercise, peeling up into the upper back. So you remember you're squeezing rib and hip together, glutes are pulling, pushing you up. You got that knee and hip alignment, arms are pressing down, shoulders down, inhale. Exhale, upper back comes down, mid back comes down, lower back comes down, release the pelvis here. Ooh. And two more. Reaching up. We are gonna add on to this on the last one for the work for the posterior chain. Roll it down, down, down. All right, we got two things happening. First, we're gonna do our leg lifts, tuck. Stabilize first, adjust. Rib and hip connected here. Keep the height of the hips. Press the shoulders down, arms down, reach the right leg up. I'm gonna send the leg down to tap and lift. Now, if you feel like you're very shaky and you don't have stability, just hold the leg up and three, and pull, and four, and pull, and last one, and pull. Good, keep pushing the left foot down to get the hip high. Okay, here we go, adjust. Other side is coming up, point the toes, and reach down five. Hip is high, four, three, woo, two, one, stay up. All right, adjust. Heels go up. Ooh, heels go down. Adjust if you need here. Move your feet wherever you need. Remember your engagement. See, I even popped up. I started feeling my lower back, meaning I stopped engaging. I was focusing too much on my legs. Continue engaging the abs, please. Hips, heels go up, heels go down. And again, three. Touch it down, hips stay high. Four, <laughs> cracks. Five. Oh my God, guys, it cut off. I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, so I really apologize. So from our pelvic curls, heels up. You're gonna roll it down if you haven't. And then we're going to release the heels. All right. You wanna reach your right leg down, left leg straight. <coughs> A right leg you're gonna pull it in so I want you to keep that leg straight I don't want you to bend it and pull it into your chest as much as you can which I see a lot and this doesn't stretch your hamstrings it is not gonna do much so I want to straighten the leg if you can flex that's an added bonus I have to keep looking to make sure the camera is on now um, and then I want you to pull keep that leg straight if this is your max stay here if that's your max stay here 
If you can go further, go further, but do not bend your knees. Please pull it all the way in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release it all the way. Send it down. Other leg comes up. Pull it in again. Remember it's straight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release it down. All right. We're going to flip to our front. All right. So come to your hands and your knees. <coughs> hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips for a rounding. Now remember what we talked about. Your rounding is in the lower back. Feel the belly button pull up to the ceiling. You still have that string there. And then you're going to push the floor away, but I'm focusing on that lower back rounding. And then as you reverse it, as you come to the opposite movement, you're going to pull the shoulders back and down, chest opens, head lifts, tailbone lifts. Get a breath. And then you're rounding again. Think of the lower back rounding. And then you're going to open it up. Shoulders go back and down, breathe. And then round. Shoulders go back and down. Focusing that extension, that stretch in the upper back. Now you can do whatever feels good for you. So maybe you want to round everywhere. Push the floor away with your hands and your legs. And then maybe you just want to stretch everything. All right, curl the toes under. You're going to walk your hands towards your knees. Push the floor away here to get that rounding in the upper back. Then you're going to push yourself to your feet. All right, align your feet. So shift wherever you need here. Come to your low squat and please at least attempt it. I know it feels like it's impossible. Reach the hips back, come to your forward fold, let go, get lazy here. You can soften the knees, inhale. Exhale, we're dragging ourselves up, belly button to the spine, round it up. We're stacking the body over the hips, shoulders go back and down. All right, so we're gonna reach up, circle up. Grab a wrist, pull to the side for that side stretch. Pull that arm, really lengthen here in the body, side of the body, and then you're going to switch sides. Good. Circle it all the way back down. Let's do a nice inhale, big inhale. Good. Move your head side to side. Roll the shoulders, and we are done for today. Thank you for following and coming along. Um, please let me know if you have any suggestions, anything, any specific exercises you'd want to see or just regular flows and um, see you next week. Have a great time, guys. Bye.